The Red Chamber of the National Assembly has considered the report of its committee on INEC and confirmed its resident electoral commissioners. However, it stood down three nominees for further legislative consultation, namely Mahmoud Aisa, KB State, Rufus Oloron Tonyi, Lagos State, Ahmad Bello, Zamfara State, while Mustafa Zuburu from Niger State was rejected based on petitions received. During the plenary session, Senator Suleiman Nassif read the report on the screening of 12 presidential electoral commission officials for Independence National Electoral Commission. According to Senator Nassif, the Rex whose appointments we approve have been screened by the Police Code of Conduct Bureau and Department of State Service. The 27 nominees referred to the committee for screening were cleared by the relevant security agencies. The police the Department of Security Service and Code of Conduct Bureau. The nominee from Niger State, Professor Mustafa Zuberu, was rejected for the reasons being that he hails from the same local government area and senatorial district with a serving national commissioner in the Independent National Electoral Commission. The nominee from Zamfara State, Ahmed Bello, Mahmoud, and Kebi State, Dr. Mahmoud Isa, had their nomination stepped down for further consultations. The committee was satisfied with the qualification experience of nine nominees, therefore recommend that the Senate do confirm. Senate President Bukola Saraki complimented the work of the chairman and urged the newly appointed officials to perform by improving the electoral process. In doing this, countries have entrusted the task of conducting elections to men and women of impeccable character. We expect that the newly confirmed Rex will display the highest level of integrity, discipline, and patriotism so that the gains INEC have attained in previous elections will be surpassed. The timetable recently released by INEC for the 2019 general election is timely. It should give the new Rex the opportunity to correct the mistakes in the plan and plan properly for a credible and transparent election. In another development, Nigeria Financial Intelligence Agency NFIA autonomy bill scaled through first reading at the floor of the Nigeria Senate. The bill seeks to establish the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Agency as the central body in Nigeria responsible for receiving, requesting, analyzing, and, and disseminating financial and other related information to all law enforcement security agencies or the relevant authorities.